What's going on everybody? My name is David and welcome to what should be the final episode of, well, episode one of Glitch in the System. Now, there it has been a week since the last video. I apologize for that. Uh, I My computer charger crapped the bed on me and it took me a bit to get a new one. So yeah, that's the reason why there wasn't any videos or anything for about a week, even though I take random breaks anyway, so it's not really a shocker. But yeah, I did the math, I looked it up, there's only like 90 minutes or so left in this game, so I'm like, so I thought, why not just do it all in this episode? And then we can start up episode 2, chapter 2, whatever it is, when it comes out. So, enough ch chit out of the way, let's get straight in. Now when we last left off, we were talking to Kana from Detroit to become human. Hello, I'm Kana, the android sent by Cyberlife. And, uh, Jack's, uh, fake boyfriend. <laughs> it's a bit sparse, isn't it? It may be, but I'm not convinced there aren't clues left to find. And I guess we better look around. I guess, so this is where we left off. Uh, Anti started taking over the place, so... Now we're going to do some detective work and see what the hell we can find. What is this? This is unlike any computer I've ever seen. I can't seem to interface with it. it. Looks like an old arcade machine. Maybe a broken arcade machine. Maybe a broken old arcade machine. Seems out of place here. Did that laptop just turn on? I was just about to say that. I think it finished installing its updates. We should look at it. I can't get anywhere with this machine, not even with my ID. Yeah, we need more info on it. Might as well leave it for now. Okay. Any, um, I can't get to the papers. Anything on the whiteboard? I can't see anything that could have been erased from this board. Neither can I. Whoever used this board last seems to have done an excellent job of wiping it clean. I guess we're not going to find any clues here then. God damn it. Okay, let's check out the computer. Seems like the computer is finished updating. I'll let him to interface with it. It appears that whoever owned this computer installed security measures against bot hacking. I thought you were all code here. Wouldn't that make you no different than anyone else? That's true. However, my game granted specific abilities unavailable to the average wireless population. Many have installed basic measures to prevent androids from using its ability to hack into their private data. Ah, okay. Makes sense, but how do we get in? Site. Sentience verification required. Press enter to continue. How would I prove sentience? Sen senti sentience. There we go. <laughs> Can't speak. Many have installed simple puzzles. Since these require physical presence with the computer, this would deter androids from accessing it remotely. I see, so I guess I press enter to continue. That's a lot of numbers. Navigate to circle. Arrow hunts you. Avoid being caught, press enter. Oh yeah. Oh fuck. Aha! I have fooled you, Arrow! You cannot best me. I am the greatest sentient being to ever walk the fit. Oh, there's more. Oh shit, this fucker's fast. What? There we go. Press the arrow key that corresponds to the arrow when it appears on screen. Okay. 
Okay. Down. Right. Up. Right. Down. Easy peasy. Oh god. Right. Down. Did I... Did I fuck up before? Welcome back, Ma Monica. We sent her password. We did it. Although, what kind of password do you think Monica would have? Monica has power over the computer unlike anyone I've ever encountered. Let me check something. That's a big-ass password. Banana Curtains 2020. Oh, I hate that that they're trying to make it seem old or whatever, but or like in the future, but 2020 is next year. Oh, I hate it. Wow, this brings me back. I didn't know Wireland had such older systems. That's not a particularly old model. Really? Huh. Since you live in a computer, I'd have thought the graphics would be nicer. I also thought the startup screen wouldn't be so slow. Sometimes they need a moment. Not everything works so, so great. They always get stuck in the last bar, don't they? It always seems like they do. It always seems like you're going so well and then stop for like 10 minutes. I wouldn't know. I don't generally use computers since I can perform many of their functions myself. Ah, uh, okay. It must be convenient having a computer inside of your head. It does make me glad, chest. I'm sure you can see all the patterns. Speaking of being good at things, how did you guess Monica's password? I suspected she would have set the password in binary. Few people would be able to translate it without help, but since she has some control over the files in her game, she is fluent in binary. I assume you are too? Of course. I am Connor, after all. The greatest android. So what was her password? <laughs> The simplest password on the planet. One, two, three, four. That's not a secure password. In binary it is. What's binary for one, two, three, four? Is it one? No, it's zero. Oh, actually, yeah, that sort of is. Well, we're in. What do you think we should look at? There does appear to be a notepad file open. Perhaps they'll give us some clues. Log number 43. Explosive deployment successful despite efforts to subdue it. Max still underway of course. So to say, Jack has returned to Wireland, so he may be of so... It appears they were interrupted mid-sentence. I think we should also check out the codes. It's a lot of codes. Storage room, 5225. Elevator, 7326. Sushi bar, 5377. Blah, 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 blah. I'm sure at least one of those is important. Which one? Great. I guess that's a dead end. Auntie's probably long gone by now. I don't think so. The person who wrote this likely heard us coming. It's possible. They're still here. I think so. So see our It's locked. Um hmm. This is why. The door's blocked off. Whoever was here didn't want to be disturbed. I thought this place was under construction. Why would anyone disturb them? I don't know, but that is a good question. Uh, of course. Oh, good. Um, storage room? 5225? Mm -hmm. No. Is 
7356. Um, let me try this safe. 5283. 5283. There's an Easter egg in this one. You got the Bing Easter Echo. That's cool. Bing was in the demo. Um. Yeah, I'm. Newsworthy. Computer has been used in over a decade, and all the papers seem to be random musings of a clinically anxious secretary. That's oddly specific. The type of rambling matches that demographic to most of all the ones that have sampled. Okay. Um. Seventy six twenty nine. No. Oh, wardrobe. Ninety two fifty seven. There we go. I didn't see what. I'm on it. What the hell is it? Oh, Christ. This feels like the chase scene in actual um, Detroit. <laughs> hey, Spider Man. Oh, bye, Spider Man. I even freaking see it. I'm sorry if this is laggy. Why is there a woolly mammoth? Alphas. This is FNAF. Now we're just going through all the. Now we're going through all the games. Stop. There's nowhere left to run. Who is it? Marcus? <gasps> I'll tell you everything you want to know. Just take me to the station to be interrogated. Uh oh. Are we ready to start? <clears throat> as ready as I will ever be, I guess. I didn't run after him, thank god. It's not my knees that need a damn break. I'm perfectly fine, Hank. My knees do not require a break either. Take it away then. Marcus. You're being held here on the counts of suspicious activity and evading capture. Please explain why you ran from me. What I say can't leave this room. We don't want the rest of Wireland to panic prematurely. Panic? What do you mean panic? And who is this we you're talking about? A few weeks back, around the time the glitching started. Kara contacted me and asked me to beat her at her apartment. She said she and a number of unidentified others were doing their own private investigations into the disturbances. Wait, what? Why? Why didn't you contact Connor? You'd think his connections would be valuable. That's why I said too. 
but she insisted it had to be kept off the books for a few reasons. Our methods aren't exactly legal. Uh, we thought keeping ourselves and hacking behind the scenes would result in leads, answers. We think Auntie might be able to hide from security, and there wasn't any other way we could find this out, especially without notifying him about it. With everything that's happened so far, he's certainly infiltrated enough. I guess he'd be keeping an eye on your database, if he can hack into anything. I, I can see why you've been so cautious. So Kara started a rogue investigation? Really? We're talking about the same Kara, right? Not the kid with the chocolate obsession? I don't know who you're talking about. No, the injured with the K. I think she was playing a role in recruiting people. She did say there was a so-called mastermind to the operation, but she never told me who it was. I think she wanted anti confused. And I guess it makes sense that if one of us is captured, we can't name names. It gets confusing, but at the end of the day, it's a sacrifice we have to make. So keeping you in the dark, Connor, was for your safety as well as ours. I'm sorry things are so desperate, but I assure you that it wasn't an issue of trust. You seem really forthcoming with this information, given you were a part of a secret organization. Yeah, it sounds... It sounds a little suspicious. So why run if you're cooperating with us now? Is it cover one? Hopefully not. But this is the only place I can safely pass all of this on to you. The interrogation rooms are completely soundproof, and don't have any recording devices. In other words, the perfect place to let you know what's going on. In other words, there's somebody here that snuck in, and it's Mac. I feel it, that he's anti or something, and he's going to know all this information. I feel it's anti. Or not, I feel it's Mac. But I couldn't just walk in and ask you to interrogate me. Anti would know something was suspicious. Do you really think he's watching everything? I don't know. None of us do. We can't be sure what he can and cannot hear. So we have to assume the worst. I had to let you catch me. I'd say the worst is that he's an omniscient deity overlord, but I don't think we're quite to that point. Yeah. Hopefully never. Is there anything I can do on my end now that I know? Aside from feeding your criminal database fa fa faulty information on the off chance you can lure him out? I don't think so. Anti sly. We can't underestimate him. He didn't notice any sudden movements or changes. And you're sure this is anti? I mean, last time where glitchy stuff happened to Wireland, it was me. Well, half of me. Oh, it's anti. That much is clear. Never mind what he should or shouldn't be able to do. No one else would glitch out Wireland. We go over here. I can't think of anyone else who would want to see it destroyed. We've also found copious amount of evidence from her hacking that anti's the one who's accessing the databases remotely, though we can't get a lock on him. So all that evidence doesn't exactly lead anywhere. Exactly. The location is the most important part, if we want him apprehended. What about motive? I mean, why is he doing this? Uh, excuse me. Well, that much is obvious, isn't it? Chaos. It's possible he wants to usurp, usurp me as Wireland's leader and completely wreck the place, thus causing chaos to your fans, too. Are you sure that's what it is? I mean, on the channel, he seems obsessed with taking over everything. I think he even murdered Jack to seize control of his body. Is that what he did? Is that even possible? No. I couldn't even do it if I wanted to, and I have the most power and authority in Wireland. Only Jack could override me. Jack would have to make a conscious choice to let Anti have his body. I don't give my permission, that's for sure. But I also don't want Anti taking over Wireland either. Me neither. This place is awesome. We'll help you as much as we can. There's one more thing I'm curious about. This morning, an unusual machine appeared in our headquarters. We can't move it or do anything to it. It doesn't seem to be causing any trouble that we can see. But we didn't put it there. It's sort of like a computer crossed with an arcade machine. Red flickering light. Maybe you've seen it before? Oh. Oh no. What? What is it? You just went... Yellow. I know it's not a happy color. Oh, he did change. I'm familiar with that machine. I didn't think Antic would have figured out how to make one, though. It's a machine that, if activated, will cause nothing but mayhem in Wireland. Uh, uh, what? I know he was thinking about it, but how did he do it? How did he manage it? Okay, rewind a bit. Manage what? What does it do? 
as I said, I'm the most powerful person in Wyoming outside of Jack. This machine, however, drains me of that power and siphons it into Andy. It's like a, a magnet for my power that draws it to him. So Andy's trying to usurp you as Wireland's leader? That's bad. That's really bad. So if he succeeds, the only one that can stop him is me? Jack, you have to deactivate him. He's probably put all kinds of firewalls and security codes that would prevent me. But you could undo him. You could stop them. And them? There's more than one? Almost certainly. Andy would want the job done in as short a time as possible. A day, maybe less. He'd nail a lot of them. But they'd be scattered. I imagine my technology wouldn't be able to detect the locations. So it's not exactly a short trip to use my overrides. This is like a full mission to save the world. Of wireland, that is. Please, Jack. Please help us. You're the only one who can. Go, R2-D2. Go free. Spread my message. People. Those IDs, I got you. They probably override Andy's machines. Of course. Of course I help. Can't let Wireland fall into Andy's hands. What do I have to do? You'll have to search Wireland. Games. Titan. DOS. Angeles. Athlod. The trains. Everything. At least until we find them all. Deactivating them shouldn't be too hard if you still have the information you downloaded. I'll do everything I can to stop these these mayhem machines from giving in to your powers. Thank you. You're awfully generous. I don't know what we do without you. But first, maybe we should finish talking to Marcus. There may be some more information. That's not important. I have one more question before we wrap this up. The computer we saw in the bunker is Monica's. Could she be masterminding the persistence? Monica? No. I know she's part of the persistence, but I don't know if she knows who's running things, or how high up in the chain she is. Still, we should talk to her just in case. You need to talk to Kara first. Security's tight, and we've restored it to a grocery code to let others know who's involved. As much as I want to say hi to her, can't you just tell us the code? She changed it today. I would have been over there myself, but your presence in wireless shifted my priorities a bit. So I'll tell you what you need to bring Monica to let her know she can work with you on this. Looks like we'll get to say hi to her after all. Very well, thank you for your help, Marcus. For the sake of Wireland, it's the least I can do. And he's unstable and dangerous. He's been one step ahead of us so far. Keeping things to grip was our only chance to avoid major leaks, even with the risk he already knows. Are you sure anyone else really is involved in this clandestine shit show? Kara and Luther are both involved, and Monica loaned me her computer. There are probably more members, but those are the only ones I know. I have my guesses as to who else is involved, but the less anyone knows, the better. I understand. Is that all? Unless you have anything else to tell us, you're free to go. The left take prints and ID and all. Gotta keep it looking like it's on the up and up, or that glitch bitch will be suspicious. In fact, Jack and all of you should go ahead. Matt Connor and me all handle things here. That works. It wouldn't be odd for Jack and his friends to want to see their favorite game characters. The rest of us right there, away. The rest of us there, right away, will look suspicious. Couldn't speak. Just so Kara Marcus says hi. I was going to do some shopping later. You were going to do some shopping. Got it. So, where are we going exactly? Well, do you want to go looking for these mega machines first? If there's anything nearby, stopping them now will keep Anthony from draining Max power sooner. I mean, that's a good point. And I know we're racing against time here, but... It's probably better to go see Kara first and deal with the Monica situation. After all, either of them might be able to give us more information about the Mayhem machines or where they are. And if there's a ton of them, any the info we can get will help a lot. In that case, Kara lives near me. I can take you there. Alrighty, off we go. Oh, we actually need to... Oh wait, is it? Feels a little weird being able to walk around this into a cyber life. I mean, depending on your route, wasn't that mode kind of, I don't know, obsolete? Oh okay, yeah, I, I think I already did that. So you don't want to 
quick on this. I thought the FNAF guys would live in their game. They do. Usually. But the right here is decent, and it's got way better lighting. Imagine trying to read a book in the dark. Oh, I've been there. Can't blame them. They read? Yes. They do read. Chico loves Tolkien? I bet Freddy's more partial to Charles Dickens. I know Bonnie loves Shakespeare, and let's see. So let's see he likes what? Oh yeah, he likes Dr. Seuss. Wait, how do you know this? Atlas dragged me there, okay? She loves reading, but she didn't know anyone, so she didn't want to be the only kid there, and Fran was busy, okay? Who's Alice? The name sounds familiar. Wait, Billy, where exactly do you live? Where the hell are you? Tump! Oh, wait. No, I... Fuck. Okay. Videos here. Come on, where? Prime distance. Excuse the caviar. All oh, the fancy smash picked up. Okay. But seriously though, I don't know where. <clears throat> oh. This flowey. I'm Flowey. Flowey the... Oh, you know who I am. You're Jack, right? Do you say that to everyone you see? Force of habit. Well, I've heard of the Flowey Pot AU, but I didn't know it was canon. Speaking of AUs, how do you handle the whole Delta Rune and Undertale thing? Like, are there two Elphuses? Tordiels? All of them? Or just one or was two versions? Two. Of uh, everyone. You have any idea how annoying two Sansas are? I'm not apologizing. I like Sans. Maybe we should just let Wyvern burn. Oh, come on. Isn't there anything redeeming about this place? I could die later. And do what? Pretty sure Wireland can't catch fire. Wireland? No, I want to get good fire going on the grill. I got a real hanker for some crepes. You... Like crepes on the grill? Yep. Whipped cream and blueberry comp. That sounds good. Don't you eat compote? Did I stutter? It makes great fertilizer. I didn't think we'll pass, thank you. I'm gonna leave, Flowey. Where are you? Hot! Stick to your name, your business. Who are you? And who goes there? Lancer? Aha. You must have me confused with that other handsome fellow. My name is Prancer. I am the doorman of this fine establishment. Your mustache is detaching. Ah. So it is. You seem through my brilliant disguise. Yeah, brilliant. That's the word I was gonna use. <laughs> Are you really the doorman here? Yes, of course, in every way. Except legally. But that doesn't matter. I station myself here every day with a vowel in it. Except took like a pirate day. It's a special day to speak to spend with friends and people who find you obnoxious. I imagine that's a vast quantity of people. <laughs> well, I like you. I have a difference of opinion. He loves me. Anyway, let's get to the top of the building. The top of the building. Yes. The highest the building will go. Yes. Corresponding with the topmost button. Yes. The button on the tip of the top of the elevator. Oh my god, are we going to keep going with this? Nah. We believe in you. Take your determination and be the best darn unhired doorman there ever was. With great pride. Thanks for moving aside. Bing bong. Bing bong. Um. The fuck? Go away. 
Fuck, um. Just like no one's home. Yeah, I know, I'm trying to get out of there. Fuck them. They got Transformers. Well, them two are pretty great cartoons. Well, the movie is not so great. Let me say the first one, but I agree very strongly. What the hell is this? Kara! Oh, that is Kara. So cool to meet you. You must be Jack. Mac let us know you'd be on your way. I don't know, but I can't remember what Kara's voice sounds like. That's me. Did he say why I was coming? No. Actually, he was a bit cryptic. Something wrong? Oh, it was nothing. He just wanted me to pick some things up at the grocery store. Mac? That... It's funny. He doesn't usually stop for things in person. Jack, I know you're excited. I am too. But who is Marcus? Mac sends his regards too, but Marcus was the one who wanted to go shopping. He also says hi. Right, right, thanks. Ah, that's right. Today's his day for shopping. I'll get you his list. Oh, God. Bounce. My heart is a bounce ball. Bright, energetic, full of bounce and color. Rounded on the edges, never sharp. When I'm tired into the butter that goes. Along with the other bounce balls. The different hues are fun to look at, and I know my heart will never be lonely. Surrounded by many, by so many like it. Looking at the edges reminds me of other round things, also bouncy and rubber. Like the tires on my dad's car. We had so many wonderful trips together out to the countryside. I brought my battle of wine with me and let my heart out for a bit. After soaking up the sunshine and tiring itself out, back in the bottle it goes. Then it's time for lunch. Lunch should always have a dessert, something sweet and bright. To round off the meal, I cut tires, bounce balls, something, something, something. I didn't know how to go down. He likes to pick up Monica's groceries for her because she's so busy. Quite the model neighbor, isn't he? Yes, that's really sweet of him. You need to get exactly the right items and deliver them to Monica at her apartment. It's the one next to this one with the pink welcome mat. You get really serious all of a sudden. Getting it right the first time saves you a return trip. Monica's kind of picky about her groceries. Okay, it makes more sense, I think. Deliver the items to Monica, of course. Thanks, Kara. And I don't want to pry, but are you sure Billy will be safe traveling with you? I don't want him to be in any danger. Fine, Car, you don't have to fuss. But make sure you come back in one piece, Billy. I do have some ibuprofen, just in case. Maybe I should get you some? It's kind of concerning that you think I'm going to fall apart or drop a hat, but it's nice to be worried about, I guess. I thought you didn't have pain receptors, Billy. I don't. But that doesn't mean I can't feel pain in wire ones, where I can seriously get injured. That has me kind of confused. Take it up with Mac. Did you want the ibuprofen, Billy? Fine, Kara. But if you got a headache, I'll come straight to you, okay? Just keep yourself safe out there. Just don't do anything too risky. Fine, I will. I think you're embarrassing him. I'm sorry, that wasn't my intention. But if you need anything at all, any of you, you know where to find me. Yes, smut. I mean, Kara. Yes, Kara. Okay, let's go. Okay, but who is this? Luther. I think we can all agree that it's strange to be seeing each other face to face. Although I'm a bit confused. Did you think I would be shorter in person? What? No, I guess... I guess not. No. Relax, Jack. I think we can both agree that this is an unusual situation. Hey, Luther. How are things? I only hope these issues don't get worse. But if they do, you should be sure to come find us, won't you, Billy? I'm sure Kara and Alice. Oh, that Alice. Oh, okay. But feel better if they knew you were okay. I knew I would too. Aw, he's like your way more responsible dad. Ugh, how many times do I have to tell you I can take care of things? We know you can. That doesn't mean we don't want to make sure you're safe. Anyway, we should really get that shopping of Monix done. I'm sure she wants her groceries for you soon. Will do. Can I go in? No, I'm not gonna lie. I actually haven't really played much of Detroit. So, I would look, I would talk to that kid, but I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> nice. Hey, Billy, do you have 90 minutes? Ugh, is your memory made of Swiss cheese? I was there. Oh, 
small ass bathroom. Cute place. Oh, no, I didn't mean to freaking go back. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Um... Oh. Hitting escape goes down. One should always have dessert. Something sweet and bright. To round off the meal, I kept tires, bounce balls, and hearts around. I feel a bit jealous of the snack cakes we bought. Their roundness is enviable compared to mine. Maybe if I wore a shirt covered in sprinkles, no one could tell the difference. Or maybe it would draw the wrong attention. The heart behind the snack cakes should be the attention instead. We shouldn't ever tire of who we are in spite of our appearances. I should go shopping after the picnic. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay. Where is a... Where is a shopping? Space. Oh, right here? Yep. Naps to look feel like garbage together. Let's have the church three months in a row. No. Uh, what's this? The Boss Cookie. Like a septic- Oh, Jesus. A septic infection. Infection. Okay, she needed tires. <laughs> this is an inconvenience store. Okay. I need wine celestial super balls okay i need bounce balls what else do we need um tires yep Hearts, snack cakes. Tab, what the hell is that? They're Altera branded. Oh! Oh, I didn't mean to fucking. Can I return it? Hello? fucked up that wasn't the right store I I fucked up I 100% fucked up hey Jack you have everything I asked for. <laughs> Fair point, let's go. Okay, Monica. I got your snack cakes. Come on in. 
Okay, the art style definitely changed. Come on in. I'm glad you stopped by. You're just in time. Oh god. Just in time? For what? More importantly, how the heck did we suddenly change these outfits? Oh, that's Yuri's doing. She went and splurged on a type of system that enhances the atmosphere for everyone who visits, even down to their clothing. Ugh. Can I have my old clothes back? I want to wear something that makes me look more, I don't know, normal? I'm not sure what you mean. I wear this every day, and I like to think I'm pretty normal. Besides, I don't know how to tell you this, but I kind of loathe that garish yellow shirt you always wear. That tie suits you so much better. Think of it like taking off your shoes to enter someone's house. It would be so rude to refuse. You know, usually that kind of thing doesn't involve changing all of your clothes. Anyway, why are we all anime now? This is creepy. You weren't like this the last time we I visited. Can I change out of this skirt? It's a bit short for me. Come on, you look lovely. Besides, those skirts are really popular with everyone. And quite the eye catcher. Yeah, cons for reasons. Yeah, that's sort of what makes me uncomfortable. Anyway, to get back to the point, I need your help. Especially you, Jack, since you're powerful here and all. What sort of help? Well, it's hard to explain. You remember my friends, right? Sayori, Yuri, and Natsuki? Of course, there's something wrong. Well, I suppose you could say that. But I guess I don't have enough evidence that anything is wrong. I have a gut feeling about it, and I'm not sure where to turn. Is this to do with the whole anti-resistance thing you're running? Anti-resistance? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I mean, if there was one, he'd be able to hear everything we're saying, so it'd be incredibly dangerous to talk about it here, wouldn't it? I still what I'm saying? Right. We never know what he'd overhear. Well, we did find your laptop, so you can imagine we might come to that assumption. Of course, I'd love to go get it once we're done talking here. Thank you for finding it. So, why'd you need the groceries? Oh yes, the groceries. Thank you for them. I'll, uh, I guess I'll go put them away. You don't mind waiting here for a bit, do you? No, take your time. Then we can chat. I'll be back in a bit. Make yourself home. Use the opportunity to read a really good book. I suggest a book about someone who likes literature as much as I do. I'm sure you'll find the perfect book. Is it me or is she acting weird? She's weird in her game, though, too. No, like, I've known her for ages, and she's never acted like this. Whatever's wrong, it's probably a lot bigger than she's making it sound. Well, I guess we can look around and see what we can find. Maybe we should look for that book she was talking about. I wonder what book is a character who likes literature as much as Monica. See if we can figure it out. This is gone. Maybe the only one that's gone. Is about someone who likes literature as much as Monica. Huh. Harry Potter, The Lion Witch, Kill Mockingbird, Matilda, Hamlet. Or Moby Dick. A tilt? I would think so. Not that I read that much. I was going to read it. Sure she did. Wait, there's a piece of paper in it. <clears throat> Sorry for the weird prompts, but I didn't want Auntie to overhear us. It happened again. I've been calling Natsuki all day, and she's not picking up. I think she's missing too. What can Auntie be trying to say? Why is he targeting the literature club? If he knew about our operation, it would be prudent to get rid of everyone at once. So what's his plan? I need your help. I'm sure we can work together to figure out where he's keeping them. You've always been really trustworthy. That's why I loaned you my computer. Oh, and you should probably pretend there's a poem you found too, okay? I don't think finding an old poem would look or sound suspicious to him. If you wouldn't tell me you thought it was really eloquent, use that exact wording. Please help me find my friends. Give me everything to me. It's a really nice poem. I'm glad we found it. Yeah, there's a lot of words that really resonate with me. Exactly. I think we should tell Monica what we thought of it. Thank you again for the... Oh, is that my poem? Forgot I left it in that little book. I was going to show it to Marks because I wrote it with him in mind. But I think it's message pretty universal. I think maybe you should get something out of it too. So what'd you think of it? Well, Monica, after you're reading it over, I'd call it really eloquent. Are you sure? Are you sure those are the exact words you used to describe it? Completely sure. Hmm. We were in complete agreement. Which is weird, because we never agree on anything. That makes me so happy to hear. We really shouldn't waste any time, though. 
I thought maybe we can go down to the city and explain it. Why the city? I've been talking about poetry in the city. It's loud and busy there. But don't worry. Everything you say is safe because you probably won't be overheard. You know what? I think a walk in the city is a great idea. You're welcome to look around some more. But let me know when you want to go. Will do. I mean... Super Smash Brothers, nice. It's like her favorite game ever. Actually, all the girls from DDLC are into it, even Yuri. Maybe they just enjoy quality gaming. It is true. Okay, let's go. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh oh. We're getting into a cutscene. Oh. That's not right. Oh god, there's sexual voice acting. Well, where's the hallway? Um, I guess we're not going to the city. I never guessed that she was British. How did we get here? Well, do you have 90 minutes? <laughs> no. Where the hell are they? No. Man. That first chapter. So good, man. Now, I don't know when chapter two is coming out. It could be in a week, could be in a month, could be in a couple of months, I don't know. But I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Martimos, Patrick Morgan, wow, great job. Jenny, Jenny Zimmerman is Emmy Cat Voices, and Jessica Zimmerman. Cliff Smedley is S Snow Cube, David Z. Okay. Yeah. I said chapter one. I'm not normally doing these fan games, but I don't know something about this one really just brought me in, really connected. And I think it sort of helped me rejuvenate my appreciation of Sean and his work. So, Sarcastic Pasta Games, I don't you guys are watching, but if you are, thank you for making this game. It's a great game so far. I know there's probably a lot of stuff I missed, but again, that's where for you guys to go and play the game and find stuff on your own that was those guys in the hospital were from my exchange too. There's a lot of games. Party Hard? Hmm. Sam Liberty, yep. Brittle School. Shadow of the Colossus, yep. Shark Taking Simulator. Simon Lock Girl. Like a lot of these games I've seen him play, and a lot of them I haven't, so. So it's really good. The Sims, Walking Dead, Total Yakker Battle Simulator. I don't know if this is just like the entirety of the game or if this is chapter one only, but interesting. in the system. Any 
Okay, sneak. Cannot. Red. Then. Blue. There. Plan. Must. Never. Succeed. Oh God. We will. Stop. Then. No matter what it takes. I'm not really sure who that was. But I'm excited to find out. Chapter 2 coming soon. Hey. Hey, David. Hi. Thanks so much for playing. The developers and I really appreciate it. I know this game doesn't have a big final message or moral because it's only the first chapter. But remember what I said last time? I still mean every word, David. You matter. You matter to the people around you, and you matter to me. Even if we haven't met, which is a lie, I have met you. Probably one of the coolest moments of my life so far. Thank you for that. You matter, whether you're extremely vocal in the community, or quieter, and not as involved. Because you're irreplaceable. Your voice deserves to be heard. You deserve help when you're struggling. You don't have to put yourself down. Just don't forget that, David. See you in chapter two. Thank you so much for playing. Remember to keep your save files so you can pick up a second where you left off in chapter two. Instructions for the enemies. You know. Let's go. Wait. So what happens if I hit continue? Oh, okay. Okay, guys. Well, well, guys, that is it for chapter one of Glitch in the System. I hope you guys really enjoyed. I had a blast playing this. I'm be honest. Like I said earlier in the during the credits, I'm not really a big person to play the like a big fan to play the fan games on my channel like maybe i'll play one on my own but i don't know something about this really i wanted to play and this was an amazing experience i can't wait for chapter two and hopefully you guys can either thank you again to sarcastic pasta games for making this it was a great experience and honestly that message at the end was very nice too so, yeah, that's all for me for right now. So, if you like this series so far, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new so that you know when Chapter 2 comes out. I'll be posting more gaming content, vlogs, reactions, all that good stuff within the coming days and weeks, so stay tuned for that. And, yeah, so that's it for me. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.